you, ha you, sound, you would sound like that guy. So you guys all know what passwords are, right? In a world. <laughs> uh, so Windows uses passwords, right? What's a password? Hold on. Password. Boop-a-doop-a-doop. <laughs> What, who's that guy? Bob? Bob, uh... Bob's the builder. No, he was Bob. No. Bob. In the world, the word password The paintings. The word password does not... I feel like Bob. No, not Bob Vila. No, his name is Bob. Double equal is like a double equal. Yeah, who's the PBS? Bob Ross. Bob Ross. You're right, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm Van White. I have a Regex book that I've The hacking is done... Here, on whiteboards. Not Insert whiteboards. the black hat. All right. Can you give me black hat? What? All right. Eat passage for lunch. You will serve each passage for lunch. All right. So I don't you okay, this is hold on. Alright, cool. Alright. So here's here's the uh, nice. So we all know what passwords are. That's your studio monitor. <laughs> nice! Yeah. So you know where you are. Okay, so we all know what passwords are. No, I don't. Thanks. Well, if you don't, you use it for authentication. Or when you type in password, that's not your password. Okay, so... Don't, don't, let's, let's, let's raise the bar just... Five notches. Five notches? Yeah, five notches. Okay, Start five notches. Hashes and just mention. Like, you just fuck your head up. You, yeah, you don't, you don't. Let's not break it down. Okay. So, when you authenticate with the Active Directory, all right, let's, let's start way back when. Um, you did, you did NTLM and LM. You explain those? Okay, so, you guys know what NTLM and LM are? Just ignore the chat screen. Okay. Uh, you got a 10 second delay. <laughs> oh, they said, yeah. Okay, so it's only like a 5 second delay. Alright. So... <laughs> what was that? 5 for? seconds. Delay. Ah. So, NTLM or LM. You're, you're talking back and forth between... Oh! My, my Vanna White stopped doing his job. <laughs> So you're talking back and forth between the Active Directory server and your client. That it's it's you know Darren explained it later or earlier. So let's say I have compromised this host via whatever means. Client side, you know, at oh down it up, config or whatever. Okay, so anyways, I com I compromise this box and I'm on it. Well, I can only dump the hash is for this one. So, FG dump. Formerly PW dump. No, not formally. Uh, yeah. FG dump used to be PW dump. It's completely rewritten. What I'm saying is, it does essentially the same thing. Yeah, okay. So, some people still know it as PW dump. Okay, whatever. You do, you do a dump. Now you gotta crack passwords. That takes forever. Or you do rainbow tables. Well, I don't need this. Why not? You don't need the hash to get the password out of it? Nope. Why not? Because Windows uses something called uh, tokens. So tokens are basically allowing you to not have to put your password every single time something gets talked to on the OS. Is it when you're talking about a word computer or something? Anything. Anything. Your, your basic Windows install has tokens. 
Now there's two kinds of tokens. What? Because so like I go to a samba share and that samba share requires authentication. Mm -hmm. So I authenticate. And now I can browse around in those folders and open those files and not have to enter my password in every single time because I'm authenticated the first time. And it stores it as a and token. That token is what keeps my session. It's like a session cookie. Right. So it's kind of like cookies, right? They can't hear you. We're going to just say what I said, basically. So basically, um, basically, 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 getting it out of my system. Yeah, another one. Not that I can do on that Yeah. So they can hear you. So you get, you get, it stores these tokens, right? There's two types of tokens. There's delegate. I can't spell tonight. And um, in, impersonate. All right, so there's these two types, two different types of tokens are levels of, of ability, what you are authorized to do. So delegate is the crown jewels. Delegate can do anything as that user on that system. Impersonate only can do things that are non-interactive. So um, say you RDP into a system and you authenticate with it. You now have that delegate token on your system or it has it on its system okay impersonate is more like say I have an IIS server and it has inet user and whenever someone browses to a page inet user has to pull those uh, files that's non-interactive okay. so just think of it as interactive slash non-interactive sure. so delegates interactive impersonates non -interactive. right all right so in Windows system is the only one that allows is allowed to look at and use all of them uh, if um, will logs into the system he can only use his tokens and the ones that he has the ability to talk to did I just get a one why did I screw up that's fucked up so then Darren, you have yours, right? So what if I compromise this with system level access? Now I have access to all the tokens. Well, what that are, only stored, that are stored on that machine, though? That are stored on that machine. Well, why would somebody else's tokens be stored on this machine? I mean, obviously, okay, sure, you can compromise that box, but by compromising that box, you get anything other than that user. What happens when a script is run on your system or a service that is Active Directory controlled? It runs as a service level of that Active Directory, or okay, so, so that user. what do you mean? Well, if it's authenticating, it's authenticating with your Active Directory. No, 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 no. So, say Joe Bob admin creates a script that he pushes as a GPO okay. to oh. a login script. Every place has login scripts. Sure. Okay. Or say this client is actually a server and he RDPs in and just closes it, doesn't log out. That session's still on there. Nine times out of ten in pen tests, I've seen other tokens on systems that... So what if a domain admin leaves, or leaves his, ses his RDP session in and I compromise this box? And then you have the token of the domain admin? I have the token, but what can you do with the token? You can't do anything. It's not, it's, not it's not a password. It's not a password. It's not a password hash. You can't keep it. You can't put it anywhere. Does it, does it expire? It does expire. So you have to use it quickly. You have to use it quickly. What What can I do with that, though? I can change as as system into that delegate token and run anything I want as that user. So net use. So you can keep it alive. I can keep it alive. Right. Even if they log out, if I'm still on that session, it keeps it alive. Where do you find these tokens? What do you mean, where do you find these tokens? Well, okay, so you pop this box, you don't care about the LM or NTL hashes, you care about these tokens. Right. Where are they stored? How, what tools do you use to gather them? So there's two tools. Um, first one was created, it was called Incognito. And Incognito can list these tokens, it can then allow you to jump into one of them. What, Joe Bob, he's still got... Uh, anyways. Um, It'll list them. It'll tell you to. It'll allow you to jump into them. That's old. It was imported into Meterpreter. 
in the Metasploit framework into Meterpreter. So I pop a Meterpreter shell or a Meterpreter DLL injected shell on onto this box. I do incognito. Now I have in now I have Meterpreter running.